Hello friends and welcome to Figure Study, where we're taking a look at Earthrise Smokescreen, which is kind of interesting because I do not give a single care about Smokescreen, like at all. Never had an interest in the character, never had an interest in the toys, it just wasn't a character or figure that ever resonated with me. That being said, that was until the Earthrise version of Smokescreen came out, because this thing is pretty darn slick. As most of you are probably aware, or virtually all of you probably, this is essentially the Siege Barricade slash all of the Dotsons, though they're Cybertronian from Siege, so they're not technically Dotsons, but whatever. It's that car, it's that mold, and this is basically that same mold with some tweaks here and there to give it a more Earth mode look and to, you know, make it more in line with that specific character, that specific car. So there are definitely some changes, and I really like those changes. That being said, I do have some issues with this figure as well, which we will get into. But to start, let's get rid of these because, uh, yeah, I basically just had the guns pegged into the top to show that they could peg in there. And I'm going to be tossing this to the side until we get to robot mode. But the reason I am covering the accessories is because I feel like the shoulder guns are kind of necessary because they're part of, uh, as I understand it, they're part of Smokescreen's look. As you can see, you can combine his three guns into one big gun, which is fine. And they can come apart and you have one big blaster and two tiny shoulder guns that, uh, well, they can't, maybe they can be held. I can try when we get to robot mode, but primarily they're meant to peg in up here, which will become the, uh, the shoulder mounts in robot mode. But for now, let's move all this stuff off to the side because we don't care about accessories on this show, except for that one time. But, yes, Smokescreen's vehicle mode is pretty nice. I like the fact that they did the proper windows all the way around. It is translucent plastic, but it's a dark translucent plastic, so you can just barely see the robot bits on the inside, but I vastly prefer that to being just straight-up translucent, where you can see everything super easily, because that never looks good, and I'm glad that they're finally seeming to get away from that. I also like the fact that the windows are going all the way around. It's not just like windscreen, possibly side windows, and everything else is just molded and implied. The downside to that is some pretty, uh, let's go with sensitive um, robot parts are in translucent plastic. That's not great. I haven't had any issues yet, but I've only transformed this guy a few times, so who knows if that'll change. Ultimately, I kind of wish that they had just gone with solid plastic and then painted the bits that they needed to paint. Like, rather than do translucent plastic, do, like, maybe black plastic or something so that the windows are all black and then paint this red. Because, like, all of this red going all along here is paint. So they would have been painting this anyway. I don't know. I just, I just wish that this wasn't all translucent plastic. Anyway, the deco on this car mode is also really nice. There are some bits here and there that aren't painted that I could paint myself, that I might paint myself, but as I said, you've got this really nice red going all the way up the middle. You've got the white stripes going along either side, this nice vibrant blue plastic. The red does look a little bit dark compared to the blue, but I think it all works. It's a really nice, bright Autobot logo in the center of the hood there. The black for the headlights, from what I understand, might not be accurate, but I like it because it does stand out in this blue. The white bumper also looks great, and also the black grill detailing. It's when you get to the side and the back that things kind of fall apart detail-wise, but it's still fine. The wheels are very, very simple. They're just black plastic. The big square with the 80 on it is fine. When I was looking at TFW a little while back, it looks like that number is incorrect for the character. I don't care enough for it to bother me, but it's worth pointing out for anyone who might care. Along the back, there is some nice detailing back here, but the rear lights and the back grill, or whatever you want to call it, and the exhausts are not painted. I might do that myself. I don't know. Overall, pretty darn slick car mode. I also think it's kind of funny how the way this transforms, there's way more mass in the back rather than the front. It's just kind of weirdly open up there. Unfortunately, despite having all this space up here, there's no good way, I don't think, to store the guns. I do feel like with all this space here, there might have been a way for them to get some kind of underside storage for the gun, but oh well. Anyway, that's about all I can say about the vehicle mode, because I'm not 
big onto a smoke screen. So let me readjust. And now we can move on to size comparisons. Okay, I need to readjust again. Hang on. Okay, here he is with the standard deluxe squad, and he is smaller than downshift, but to be fair, we've got big, beefy, uh, potentially American, but definitely muscle car. So big, beefy muscle car versus smaller, sleeker sports car. I feel like the size discrepancy isn't that significant, but I don't know enough about either car to know for sure how accurate that might be. But he is smaller than a standard-ish deluxe. And here he is with the duck tank. All right, let us transform smoke screen and hopefully things will go well. I have had some issues with the back here. It does go together. It's just, uh, it gives me trouble sometimes. And I'm a little bit worried because as I said, this is all translucent plastic, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. And here we have Earthrise smokescreen in his robot mode without all of his stuff attached. Very cool. I still dig the transformation. It's just uh, the stuff that's going on with the legs. It doesn't seem to want to fit quite right. I don't know what's going on. I just know that transforming this guy into his car mode is a bit scary when it comes to jamming the legs up in there. But it's doable. And uh, I'm not seeing any cracking or stress so far, not seeing any paint scraping, but again, I've only transformed him a couple of times. Regardless, he's a pretty slick looking robot. Color-wise, for the robot mode, it becomes pretty apparent that uh, virtually all of the paint budget went into the car mode detailing. There's no extra paint except for the face and the horns. And I guess the eyes too. They did paint the eyes, which we'll see more in detail in, the, in a little bit, but the head is the only thing that's revealed in the robot mode that has additional paint on it. Everything else is just plastic or stuff that was painted in the vehicle mode. It's fine. It doesn't really bother me. I feel like because so much of the car mode is front and center in the robot mode, that paint is still put to good use. But you could do with a little bit more detailing. The breakup is nice. There's a lot of separation going on here. The only real part that I would call weak as far as like the color decoration goes on the figure is the arms because just blue and black all the way up. It's a little sparse compared to all the stuff we've got going on in the legs and the torso. Not a deal breaker, just a little sparse, but my eye isn't really drawn to them as being stark anyway, so it's fine. The yellow for the head crest pops really well. It's a really nice looking robot. I want to bring him in to look at the head before attaching the shoulder guns because the shoulder guns would obscure the head a little bit. The head looks good. I like the coloration. The white on the blue does stick out really well. That yellow pops really nicely and blue and yellow are complementary colors. It's hard to tell, but he's got these kind of like metallic-y blue eyes, which do look good. The thing that bugs me about the head is the shape. From what I understand, it is accurate, but I just don't like the stocky chin scoop thing that he's got going on. It doesn't super appeal to me, but other than that, I think it looks pretty good. And from what I remember of cartoon images and stuff, I think it's accurate. Anyway, while we're here, let us attach his little shoulder guns. So those just peg into the slots up on his shoulders. And before I forget, let's test this. See if he can hold his little, uh, yep. He can hold his shoulder gun as a little, little pea shooter. But that is how that goes. And the coloring, the blue is kind of, there's a lot of blue going on up here, so it'd be nice if it was a different color. From what I understand, it's supposed to be a different color, but I could paint that myself. Give him his blaster just because. And again, blue on blue is not great. So yeah, I do think he could do with a little bit more contrast with the guns and possibly some stuff going on in the arms, but I really can't complain too much because this is a cool figure. It's just that transformation with the legs is a little bit, it bums me out a little bit. All right, let me readjust real quick. And let us move on to our final size comparisons. 
There he is with the standard deluxe squad, and I mean, he is notably shorter than Spinister, but Spinister is a tall deluxe for a modern deluxe. Just for the heck of it, bringing in another Earthrise figure. Here we've got Earthrise Optimus Prime. I no longer have the Siege Optimus to compare him to, but I do have this evil SOB that I can compare him to if you want to see how he stacks up with Siege Optimus Prime. And here he is with the duck tank. Okay, let me readjust real quick. Because that is going to do it for Earthrise Smokescreen. As I said, I do not give one care about Smokescreen as a character or did not care about Smokescreen as a toy before this, but I really like this figure. There's something specifically about the Earthrise version of this mold. I think it's a combination of the slimmer door wings, the thicker hood chest, because now you've got this much bigger grill in the front, and the uh, slightly more pronounced eat. There's just something about the way this all balances that works so much better for me. But that is enough about what I think. What do you all think of Earthrise Smokescreen? Hopefully none of you have been hit with some of those terrible QC issues that I've been hearing about. But whatever your thoughts, feel free to chime in down below. I always enjoy hearing from you all. And remember, art is more than meets the eye.